Hey everyone, welcome to Illegal Alien Racing. I switched out my sticker kit on my Sodi 100cc cart and I wanted to show you what that process looked like. This is only the second time that I have changed a sticker kit out on a cart. And it's not super difficult, but you do have to pay attention just a little bit. I want to make sure all the pieces were there first. And I wanted to start out with the rear bumper to kind of warm up. It's got the smallest pieces and I thought it was the easiest place to start laying things down before I moved on to the more difficult parts. Now to remove the old sticker kit, it's pretty simple. Just hit it with a hair dryer, comes right off, and I cleaned the plastic with brake cleaner to get it pretty clean before adhering the new sticker kit to it. And you can see how easy it comes off with heat. And I applied a little heat to the new sticker kit just to get it more pliable. And right here, you can see how easy it comes off if you get some air bubbles while you're laying it down. And it has a little film of plastic that you peel off at the end and it gives you a really nice finish when you're done. On this top piece, it was important to line up the yellow number plate from the top piece to the side pod to make sure it looked nice. It's a little cut off on the back end, but overall it wasn't a big deal. The nose cone was definitely the most challenging part for me. It just has a lot of bends and concaves and things like that makes it really hard to line it up. It's got various pieces on the nose cone that, that you have to work with. By far the most challenging for me were these little end pieces here, but once they got lined up, it looked pretty good. Now they don't have to be perfect, but um, if you just go slow, you can get it. Now this nose fairing, the most challenging part about this, there's three holes in it that you have to line up with the three holes on the sticker kit. And they're not going to be perfect, but they're going to be close enough to where you can attach it back onto the cart when you're finished. Regardless of how careful I was, some air bubbles did appear. So what I did was took a sewing needle, applied some heat, poked a hole in the air bubble, and just pressed the air out and laid down fine. You couldn't even tell. And this is the finished product. I was pretty happy with it. The cart looks really sharp. I chose number 311, it's one of my favorite bands, and my friend doesn't like that band, so I did it on purpose, kind of. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is probably the last time you're going to see this cart on this channel, as it is for sale. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Y'all take it easy.